And a lot of us spend a lot of time in a text console, but can you get killer UIs in a terminal? This is your first five minutes with Textual. This is First Five, unboxing videos for open source. You're working away, doing some terminal stuff on a remote machine. It's a little bit clumsy. Sometimes there is a full featured browser UI or user interface. Sometimes there's a full graphical user interface or GUI in a native desktop app, but it's not on the remote system and it's not in Python. I want a terminal UI. I want textual. To unbox it, we gotta find it. It's Python, so we'll start, of course, at the starting point, and that means PyPI. A PyPI search for textual, and look, it's the first hit. It also says using rich. What's that? Rich puts a gorgeous face on Python command line applications. It's a big usability help. Rich has taken the Python world by storm. Both are by Will McGugan, a wonderful, helpful, and smart Python developer. I did a webinar with Will last year. Since then, he founded a company called Textualize and has been hiring. Back to the textual page. What do we have in store? Look at those screenshots. CSS, reactivity, mouse support, astonishing stuff. Click on getting started. It tells us what to do to begin. Pretty normal, just a pip install. I'll add it to my requirements.txt using a pinned version and install into my virtual environment. We found it. It's at our front door. Let's open it up and see it in action. Let's start with a simple example from the tutorial. We have an import for the app class, and then we make our app class subclass from it. Mix in some child widgets with a method that returns a type hint. Look at that. Then provide a header and a footer with imports. Add in a main block to run it, which makes an app instance. Then run it from the terminal. Here we have it, a terminal app. Use control C to exit. Let's add an event handler to switch from dark mode to light mode. First, find a hotkey. We'll use D. Add a method to implement our toggle dark action. As you can see, it's super complicated. <laughs> Not. Run it again. And we see the action at the bottom. Sure enough, type D and switch to light mode. Type it again, toggle. We have textual installed. We did a hello world. Let's look at something, shall we say, richer. Here we have Textual's demo app showing lots of features. Data-driven tables, rendered markdown, fine-grained composability with lifecycle events. The app itself has a CSS file for styling, key bindings, reactive properties, actions, and more. We run it. It can use the mouse in a terminal. These examples point to a powerful, sophisticated, performant, Pythonic engine in textual, such as an event system with messages and a message queue, all designed like the DOM bubbling system. Handlers are pretty simple. Method names that start with on, under, and yeah, async is first class, but it made easier. Widgets help divide your app into something like components. When you look at the table of contents, you see how much work has been done. Can you believe it? CSS for styling. Again, look at all those topics. Selectors, specificity, even CSS variables. My favorite CSS framework doesn't even do that. On to my personal favorite, Textual has a reactivity system. With this, changes to a value can push changes to code that watches that value. It leads to fine-grained updates rather than redrawing the entire screen. 
And Textual goes the extra mile using Python descriptors in a way that promotes useful type hinting. With this, I can write methods that run when reactive properties change. Here, color is reactive. Then, if something makes color change, run the watch under color method. And now our final segment on first five, scorecard time. Is Textual safe enough to use? Let's see how it grades out. The Textual website is attractive, well-organized, and full of useful, well-written information. Tells you what it does right there on the tin. Bonus points for a bit of an elevator pitch. Link to GitHub in the header. I'm going instead to the pre-release readme. A lot of watches, forks, and stars. Nice succinct description. Open source license. Killer readme. Again, inline animated GIFs. Are you kidding me? 100-ish open tickets. Is that a lot? Well, there's 200-ish closed. A number of releases with good notes on each release, grouped showing what changed, sometimes with ticket links. Pretty active. But for contributors, let's just say Will is doing most of the coding. Remember, it inherits from Rich, which brings in a big scorecard itself. That's textual terminal user interfaces in Python. What's my take? I think it's gorgeous. There won't be huge demand, but there will be good demand. And since Python is huge, that's a lot of seats. So many innovative ideas refined and re-refined over time. And frankly, a good guy with a good company, I think he deserves commercial open source success. That's it for this first five on Textual. Can Textual make a TUI market? Share your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.